dentist and the dark I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations All my friends are turning green Yeah, the magician's assistant in their dream oh. Hello and welcome to my first ever event vlog and my first vlog with my new horsey Lily. <clears throat> Lily is, as you can see, a chestnut mare. She's a thoroughbred cross Welsh. She's about 15 one and she's on loan to me and I've had her for just over six weeks now, I think. Good girl. And this is our first event tomorrow. Um, so I'm quite nervous, but I'm very excited. And we are doing the 80 at Crown Farm, Ascot under Witchwood. And I've been taught the course today with my bestie, Meg, who's coming along tomorrow as well, despite being in a cast. So that's dedication for you. And, um, and the course looks really nice and I'm just about to plait Lily up. And we've got a fairly early start tomorrow. We've got to leave the yard at seven. So I've not really thought about what time I'm gonna get up yet. It depends how much I get done tonight. Um, I've washed her tail, which is not looking too gross. So yeah, just got a plait, wipe over my tack, and pack some stuff up, and then we're good to go. Plaits are all done. They took a little bit longer than expected, didn't they, Lils? Because why was that? Oh yes, you didn't want to stand still, did you? Hmm. Hmm, guilty face. I'm gonna roll that one up in the morning. It's very, uh, it's very wonky. Anyway, they're, um, they're okay. They look all right. Um, there's some questionable ones at the end because you sort of run out of mane, don't you, dear? Hey. I'm just gonna put her snuggy head on and turn her out. And then hopefully I can go home. Hey. It's my bedtime too. Yeah, Maggie head's on. Luckily it fits. Um, <laughs> I just looked at the weather to decide what to put on her and it's literally gonna be so bad tomorrow, like torrential rain, which is great, but I'm not gonna let that dishearten me because I'm very excited. And at least it means that if all your plaits fall out, you're gonna look like a drowned rat anyway, aren't you? Hey. Hopefully it's not quite as bad as it says, but it's literally all day long, isn't it? There's a new little bit. Are you ready to go? She's like, take me out to the my field already. It's nearly dark. Stop talking. Come on, Nimrush. Let's put you out. Situation should keep us separated. You know the world won't fall apart, and you will free the beautiful bird that's caught inside your heart. Can't you hear her? She cries so loud, as the wild note over the water.
And even then Whisper the wind And she will carry up your right I hear all the people of the world In one bird's lonely cry See them trying every way they know how to make their spirit fly. Don't you see? Good morning. It's Saturday morning. It's about seven o'clock. We're just about to box up and we've had our breakfast and I've tapped our stud holes. Managed to clean my tack last night before I went to bed. So we're all good to go. So yeah, we'll see you when we get there. Ready to go. Let's go. I was scared of dentists and the dark. I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations. Oh, my. Arrived. Mum's just tacking Lily up. Dressage warm up is just behind us. Um, I'm on it eight minutes to ten. So I'm gonna have about half an hour to warm up. It should be plenty of time, so I'm literally just gonna tack up and get on straight away. How are you feeling, Lils? So I thought I'd just add a voiceover on my dressage test so that I can read out my marks and my comments from my test sheet because I think it will be quite helpful for me in the future when I watch it back um, just in case I have to do this test again. And we're just about to come down the centre line now. So for my centre line and for tracking right at sea, I got a 6.5 and the comment was quarters left, which um, she does tend to do, but I'm really bad at feeling it. I need to practice that because to me it felt quite straight, but obviously it wasn't. Um, and then for my uh, trot down that outside, so the MBF working trot, I got a 7, which was good. And then at A, I was meant to do a serpentine, but I think because I was really nervous, um, I sort of was so pleased to get down the centre line, I completely forgot what end of the school I was. So she had to beat me round about here, she beeps me. Um, and then she tells me that I forgot my serpentine, so I had to carry on and go back round and do it again. <laughs> so, well, not again, but you know what I mean. So for my actual serpentine, I got a 6.5 um, and the comment is a bit more bend. And there's also a little asterisk next to the mark, um, which means error, which is obviously two points deducted for that, which was a shame, but never mind. Um, and I think I was probably a little flustered. I tried not to be, but probably was, which is reflected in my 6.5 for my serpentine. Um, but my canter transition between C and M was a 7, which was I was really happy with. And then I got another 7 for my circle at B, my 20 metre circle, which I was happy with, and her canter felt lovely. And then for my transition to trot at F, I got another 7, which was really good, because I've been practising trying to get those on the mark properly. And then we come around to K and medium walk and then straight away from K is free walk on a long rein to E and then changing the rein to M is all free walk. So I got 6.5 for that and the comment was more stretch over the top line, which was fair enough because I didn't let her, I was worried she was going to jog, so I didn't let her stretch quite enough. Um, oh, and that mark also includes medium walk before M. And then my trot at M got a 6.5 and the comment was more left bend. And that was because my reins weren't short enough because I was worried she was going to stick her head up um, in the medium walk. So that's why I did that. And that's why I got a 6.5 for that. And then um, I'm currently doing another serpentine, which is from C, another three loop, which was a six. So that was my worst mark 
overall and the comment is tempo varying and some resistance to the left so you can see her head's not quite consistent as it is for the rest of the test and then uh, I canter between A and F and that transition was a 7 which I was happy with and then my circle at B again was another 7 which is good and her, her canter is definitely her best pace as you can see from the marks and I already knew that anyway but it did feel really nice so I was happy with that and she felt really relaxed. Uh, and then my transition to working trot at M was a 6.5 and the comment was more left bend which seems to be a recurring theme here. And then my diagonal HXF was a seven, which was good because she kept wanting to do medium trot at home down that diagonal when I was practicing it. So I was really happy about that. And then down the center line was a 6.5. I was right at the center line. I did feel like I overshot it a tiny bit. So that was a bit annoying, but my halt was a seven and the comment was halt balanced. So I was really happy. My collective marks were a seven and then three 6.5s. And the comment was some pleasing work, need to be more supple to the contact, some resistance to the bend and losing core. So that was a 34, including my two marks for an error. Dressage is all done. She was a very good girl. She didn't um, run round and round like I thought she might, so I'm really pleased with her. And look who's come to see me, Megan, her mummy! <laughs> so we're about to get on for the show jumping now. But I'm really pleased with her so far, so now I've just got the nervous bit to do. But she's got to be a good girl. Scared of dentists and the dark. I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations. All my friends are turning green. Yeah, the magicians are sisters in their dream. Oh. Good girl. And they come on down to the riptide, taking away to the dark side. I wanna be your left hand man. I love you when you're singing that song. And I got a lump in my throat, cause you wanna sing the words wrong. I just wanna, I just wanna know. And this is where it all went wrong. I'm just going to quickly say that um, it, it was all going really well till this point when I'm coming down the hill to this fence. I just didn't ride it. I just sat there, let her get on the forehand and you'll see what happens. We're back safe and sound from the cross country. Um, it was a really nearly, nearly day. Um, 
I'll do like a full report when I get home but cross country um, she jumped really nicely and um, we were going really really nicely but unfortunately I managed to take a tumble at the second to last fence which is really really annoying um, looking back I think she was just two on the forehand downhill and I just didn't I just let her go um, and I didn't ride her properly I should have you know picked her up and made sure she was sitting back and ridden it a bit better but um, the main thing I wanted to get out of today was um, to, just to get to know her and see what she's like because I haven't done a, a course of cross country jumps on her before so I'm really pleased that we got most of the way round um, and she she did really well and she helped me out so it, I just needed to help her out on that one but now I know how to ride her a bit better downhill and next time we will do that but um, really annoyingly my sneaky parent and friends who came along decided to not to tell me, well, probably a good idea, um, until after I'd been around cross country that we were actually in first place. So um, we had a 34 dressage with one mistake from me, which is a bit silly of me, wasn't it? Right at the beginning. Um, and then clear show jumping and um, it was so close to being a clear cross country, but never mind, next time, next time Lily, I'll ride you a bit better. Hey. But I'm really pleased with our, our first one and we're back safe and sound and that's the main thing. Good girl, you've got your ice boots on and then we're just gonna get you ready and take you home. Thanks, Lils. You will grow and until you go and I'll be right there by your side and even then Whisper the wind. We're back home now, safe and sound. Lily's happily munching in her stable. I just thought I'd do a quick going on with my post cross country hair. I thought I'd do a quick debrief. Um, overall, I'm really, really happy because it was our first event and we hadn't done um, a course of show jumps on grass before. We hadn't even done a course cross country before. So it, I wasn't expecting much. I just wanted to see what she was like so I knew what we had to work on and I'm really really pleased I didn't think it, although I did fall off I didn't think it was gonna go quite that well I was really happy with her dressage test she was really calm um, which I was I really wasn't sure how she was gonna be so I was really really happy that she was calm and she was really good in the warm-up and I hate warm-ups I have a personal hatred for them I just hate being in a small space with lots and lots of horses going in all sorts of directions. So she coped really well. Um, she's obviously been there and done that before, so she kind of looked after me. Um, and then uh, her actual test was really nice. I was really pleased with it. I think it was the best it could have gone, really, considering um, it was our first one and it was my first time trotting up the sense line in the whole year. So I was really chuffed. Um, there wasn't really much I could have done better in that moment I don't think. Um, show jumping, she did a beautiful clear, um, I was really happy, I was quite nervous because I thought it was quite full up. My phone ran out of storage which is why it cut me off. Um, I was going to say that her show jumping was fab, I was really pleased with it, she warmed up really nicely, um, she helped me out when um, she needed to chip one in. There was a double I was a bit worried about because it walked nine strides, which was kind of half way between a one stride and a two stride, so I really wasn't sure what to aim for. And I was going to go for a one, because I watched some people do it. Um, so I, in my head I was going to go for a one, and then she slipped on the turn, and then she really backed off the jump more than I was expecting her to. So she had to chip one in for me, so I was really, um, really pleased that she helped me out there. But I was really happy with my show jumping. I thought I rode it the best I could, and... It felt really nice, so I was really pleased with that and took a big deep breath after that. And then again, I was so nervous for cross country and she jumped really well and, you know, nothing was too much trouble for her, really. She was fab. Um, I think what happened going downhill into the penultimate fence, which was a double, and it was a big, biggish table and a few strides to a little log. And I was just so pleased that I'd got that far. I remember saying, well, to Lily, slash to myself, um, nearly home, we're nearly home. And I think 
she does have a tendency to get a little bit on the forehand I know that and I should have set her up better for it it was downhill and I think it was the only down really downhill one we had to do and it was quite steep downhill good girl so what I should have done was set her up for it a bit more and ride her into it and I just sort of um, let her lollop down the hill and then sort of got a few strides away and we both went ah <laughs> I think and um, yeah but I was really I was a little bit disappointed but I wasn't like it was the second last fence so at least I had made it most of the way around and it wasn't her fault I should have set her up for it a lot better so now I know riding downhill I really need to ride her better um, so at least I know that now and I'm not too worried about it and I'm very glad that um, I think I've already said this that my mum and Meg decided to not tell me that I was in first place before I went cross country with only a few more people to jump show jumping or was it only a few more people to jump cross country in my section I can't remember but I probably would have got placed if I had made it round <laughs> but never mind I'm not worried about that because I wasn't expecting to be anywhere near the top 10 to be honest um so I'm I'm really happy for our first event overall um I think I don't think I think it would have been really, really lucky for us to have had three really good phases. I think something was bound to happen. And at least, you know, I managed to land on my feet, um, as you will have seen. And it wasn't a bad fall, and we're both okay. And um, that's the main thing. So I'm really pleased with her. She couldn't have done any better for me. And we just got to keep improving and get used to each other. And... I've got to learn to ride with her, so maybe. <laughs> yeah, I think we just need to get used to each other. So for our first one, and my first one in a very long time, I'm very, very pleased that we've made it home and we are smiling, which is the main thing. So um, that's it for uh, our first event, Love Lily Beans. And um, it won't, hopefully won't be too long before another one. So thanks for watching if you made it this far, I'm very um, impressed and we'll see you at the next one.